I'm Alex Rom. Welcome to my channel. As usual, I have to thank you so much because, believe it or not, we are growing. <laughs> so, thank you for supporting the channel. This question has been going around my Facebook page and also uh, some private conversations I have had with some musicians and it always comes back and comes back so I'm going to, to try to answer it. Ten string guitar, how difficult is it? So first we have to consider this. A ten string guitar like this one uh, requires a longer scale and I already explained that in another video so you can look for it on um, ten string guitar tuning but basically uh, you need a longer scale because you have more basses here and longer scales or longer strings tend to sound better for basses okay so this guitar is a 664 millimeters plus two millimeters of compensation what we say so it's a 666 <laughs> but it's a very long scale so uh, it may not fit all hands. My hands are not that big, uh, they're medium size, I guess, but um, I have no problems playing longer scales happily. My second point is the tuning. This guitar has the Jeppes tuning, and well, I believe this has lots of advantages for playing different kind of music uh, but in general <coughs> okay uh, sorry about that this type of tuning has many advantages okay uh, but the problem is that the lowest string is located in the seventh position and then you have the re-entrance tuning thing and of course that messes with your brain a lot so for instance if you have um, F sharp G sharp A let's say a walking bass towards A minor you will have to do so this becomes a problem because you have to go from let's say fourth and fifth strings to the tenth string for instance or ninth and then coming back to fourth or sixth so it becomes a bit of a challenge of course in the baroque tuning this is not a problem but you don't get the benefits of the full benefits of this type of instrument this is a 10 string guitar uh, designed by Narciso Yepes and is designed to work the best with his tuning, of course. Well, another problem, let's say, is the dumping the basses thing. So basically to silence the basses, the resonance. Some people consider it a big problem. I believe it's not such a big deal, but of course you have now more strings to silence, right? To dump it. Another thing to consider is making new arrangements, right? If you play with a Jepes tuning, you get extra resonance and you can play everything from the sixth string on this instrument but it's nice to do some kind of adjustment so that you can take full advantage of all the strings and of course that will require um, some kind of thinking and probably rearrange some well-known pieces or pieces that you already master on the sixth string guitar so we have to ask how difficult is a 10 string guitar? I would say very difficult. The scale is bigger. Jeppes tuning is a re-entrance tuning, so you have to adapt a lot. Damping the basses can be a little bit of a problem. And sometimes you will have to make new arrangements to make the piece worthy playing on this instrument. But this instrument is a little bit more powerful than a six string guitar so you have a little more punch a little more projection um, of course more harmonics so it's a very well balanced instrument 
the reason why these instruments tend to be so well balanced is because of the gain in the resonance and the harmonics uh, across the 12 semitones of the scale. And of course you have more possibilities for transcription. So when you play a six string guitar piece, chances are you are going to have it a little easier on this instrument, believe it or not, for some positions. So I hope you liked the video. Please comment, share and subscribe and I will see you around.